Hey guys, this is Swordfish, and today I'm playing Puppy Love. What is Puppy Love? Puppy Love is the game that me and my team created at Global Game Jam 2015. I'm hoping to do a bunch of Global Game Jam videos over the coming days, weeks, however long it takes, because there's some really cool things that people made, and I want to showcase them and show them off. Um, but first, of course, mine, which won an award for best use of platform slash weird controller, which I will explain to you shortly. Basically, Global Game Jam is a 48-hour hackathon where you design and develop a game over the weekend. Um, they give you the theme the first day, and then you start, and you have 48 hours to work until you're finished. And the theme this year was, what do we do now? Which, at first, gave us the idea of, like, t uh, t a two-player collaborative game where one person was, like, navigating a maze or trying to solve a puzzle or something, and the other player had a some additional information about it, like the layout of the traps or, or, the, ma or the maze, or would be able to, like, manipulate the world in some way. Um... Which was a really cool idea, but because network play is really hard to do in 48 hours, we decided to get rid of that. And uh, this is what we came up with. It's kind of, that was where it evolved from, but it, it got to a different place. So let me just kind of show you what happened. So here's our dog. One of our dogs, Rex. Nuclear and biological war has left the Earth a desolate wasteland. A bioweapon turned man's best friend into his worst nightmare. Mankind is leaving for a new home, and you're the last of your kind. Houston. It's time to go. Rex, no, I stay! Houston. Rex, you're the last dog on Earth. Rex, no! There is another. So that's the concept. You're the last dog on Earth. You and Penny. Rex and Penny. Oh, I guess the music faded out. Does it loop? Oh, the music doesn't loop. Okay, so this is going to be a nice... That was our custom music, which was written by one of our teammates, who I'll have all the credits. I'll show all the credits, but um, that was pretty great. Let me refresh it so that we can get music again. All right. This is a web game, by the way, so this whole thing was coded in JavaScript, um, HTML, CSS using Canvas, which I'm quite proud of. All from scratch. We didn't use a game engine or anything, um, which is... One, in one sense, a waste of time, but in the second sense, also a really fun programming exercise. So Rex and Penny move with the WASD and the arrow keys, and they have a limited light around them, um, which I'll show you here. So they can't really see where they're going very well in the maze. They have a very small light, but as the sign said here... If you press spacebar, or a jam site exclusive, if you touch pause, it lights up the area around you so you can see better. And that is the coolest part of this game, by far. Um, we used a Makey Makey, which is a little, really cool little circuit board thing that you plug in with USB, and it lets you basically make custom controllers. So it has alligator clips that you clip to whatever you want to clip to, and then it triggers it to press buttons. So what we did was we clipped one clip to a glove, or one like one clip to two each glove. So the two players, Rex and Penny, would each wear the glove on their keyboard hand. And that made them like two halves of the circuit. So when they touched, when their skin touched, or when they touched each other, so if they held, we were telling people to hold hands, it would complete the circuit between them and the Makey Makey would trigger spacebar. So it's in, a, in essence, you hold hands to light up the level, which is super cool. And that's the thing that won us the best use of controller, which I'm very proud of and was super awesome. And everybody loved it. Um, so let me play. So this is what it looks like now. If you press spacebar or in that, in that case, hold hands, it lights up a little bit so you can see, and then when you let go, it shrinks back down again real fast. So there's a timer in the corner that um, you have a limited amount of time to, do, to find each other. Your goal is to find each other, and three lives to do so. So the idea is that you're going through the maze, you're like, oh, let me, you know, let's, let's meet down here, or 
you know, all right, we're, oh, we're really close, let's see, can we get there? And then you light it up and you realize, no, that's a dead end. So you're like, oh crap, I gotta go, I gotta go a different way. I gotta go a different way, let's see. Oh, we're running out of time. Oh no. So, I forgot if I said this. When you hold hands, it makes the light, the timer run faster. So it's sort of a, I know that's a really sad sound, the, the, the losing message of the, do, the dog barking, or whining. Um, so when you hold hands, it makes the timer run way faster. So there's sort of a gameplay balance element to, like, let's run through the maze in the dark, maybe, a little bit, and then light it up so we can see where we're going, and then try to remember it and do it in the dark again until we get closer. Um, I had it originally balanced to be more challenging, but I decided in, to make this go faster. It was even faster than that. But I decided that, especially for when we're showcasing the hand-holding thing, I didn't want to discourage people from doing it. So I decided to make it um, make it a little more, a little easier to do. Let me just light up the whole thing real quick, so I can show you how beautiful it is. Because this is the maze is custom designed. It's not tiled. It's not tiled. I um I did the layout in Photoshop in just like black and white squares, and then our artist took the squares and overlaid all of the game over and overlaid all the stuff onto it, which is really really cool and it looks awesome. Let me refresh it and uh, let's play again real quick and I'll just <laughs> light it up so you can appreciate the maze again. Yeah, he designed all the walls basically around the over my my tiles so that it would be like a really nice custom looking artwork and that's puppy love basically that's puppy love um i'm really let me let me actually win now i designed the maze that was one of my most important jobs so i know exactly how to do it in the dark um but it's hard to control two players at the same time um yay Oh, we're so close. We're so close. Let's find each other. Come on. Come on, pups. Yay! And now we have m music in the credits that's going to blend in with the music because we didn't quite finish that part. Um, so, that is Puppy Love. Um, this is our team. Blake BS Programming, Gil Chen, Environmental Art and Menu Screens, Tamir Chen, Music, Me, Programming, WV James, Programming and the Hand Holding Controller, Corey Jeffers, Programming, Pedro Munt, Game Audio, Michael Parker, Character Art. The character art was actually 3D modeled and then exported as flat. Um, it's unfortunate that it had to be so small so you couldn't see the detail that he put into the dogs, but they're pretty awesome looking. Um... And obviously the menu screens and the environment art are pretty freaking cool. Everything about this is pretty freaking cool. I'm really, really proud of it. I thought it was a really awesome idea that, like, really came out well, especially with the hand-holding. Um, like, people really, when we were playing it, so the way that Global Game Jam works is everyone finishes their game and then they all set them up and people walk around and play them to just see what everyone else is doing. And... Everyone that played our game was, like, smiling from ear to ear when we explained the hand-holding thing and when they saw it work. When they saw it work for the first time, everyone was like, oh my god, that's so cool! It was, it was, it was really awesome. Whenever people found each other, we saw a lot of, like, hands above head, like, cheering, and it was great. Like, people really, really enjoyed it, and um, that's the goal of making a game, is to make something for people to enjoy, so... Uh, I'm really proud of it. I'm really proud of everybody. We did an awesome job. And um, that's puppy love. So I'm going to do a series of these videos. I've gotten in touch with a bunch of the game of the other developers who are at Global Game Jam. So let me refresh so there's music again. I've gotten in touch with a bunch of the developers who were at Global Game Jam and, and have gotten some copies of their games and downloaded some of them from the website. So I'm going to be playing those over some time in the future. And uh, so keep an eye out. It's going to be cool. There's some really fun stuff. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.